Heart Stopper, Volume 3, by Alice Osman. Chapter 4, Out, Part 5. Okay, back on the coach, everyone. I heard you passed out. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. I just hadn't eaten enough, I think. But you feel better now? Yeah, I had a croissant and then a sandwich a bit after that. So, yeah, I'm good. Good. Sorry for reacting badly yesterday. No, it's not your f- It- it is. It is my fault. I feel horrible about fucking up last year, but I shouldn't pass that guilt on to you. I made a really stupid, idiotic mistake, and you suffered really badly because of it. I don't think I even understood how hard it must have been for you to come out to me. So, I will be, I will be better, a better friend and less of an idiot. I promise. Okay. Also, I am genuinely really happy for you. Your crush on him was extreme. Extreme? Are you talking about me? I was just saying that Charlie's crush on you was really extreme. Shut up. I was like twilight levels of pinning. Stop revealing what a loser I am. At least I had the guts to actually tell Nick I liked him, unlike you and L. Well, actually, what? Did something happen? We kissed earlier in the lure, L lure, louver, whatever the heck. What? I'm so proud of you. Shut up. You kissed? I need the details. Does this mean you're dating? Leave me alone. Paris, day five. That actually is a love bite, isn't it? Like everyone's been saying. Why didn't you just borrow some makeup from the girls? Did not think of that. <laughs> Half an hour later. My skin's a bit lighter than yours, but this'll probs be fine. You could mix it with some of mine. Yeah, that might work. How did this even happen? Kind of a bad time to get a love bite. 
It's my fault. No, it was both our faults. Kind of TMI, guys. <laughs> Done. Can you see it? Nope. Well, Charlie, I'm glad you found a boyfriend as idiotic as you. Tao. <laughs> It's sad we can't see inside. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I think so. So how about trying some frog's legs? <laughs> um, no. Nerd. Rude. Fortunately for you, I like nerds. That night. Come on, there's a little alcove by the vending machines. Did you see this place and think, yep, me and Nick are gonna make out there? <laughs> Maybe. Chatter, 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 chatter. Test 11, boys. You should be in your room. But sir, we were just... Off you go. You could let them off. They're clearly dating. They're dating? Seems fairly obvious to me. I'm pretty sure I did the exact same thing that at that at that age, sneaking around like that with a boy. Come on. You never snuck off with a boy on a school trip when you were their age? Well, when you don't come to terms with your sexuality until your mid-twenties, you tend to miss out on all those beautiful gay teenage experiences. That recent? You're only 26, right? Yep. Probably an, uh, a bit late for me to have any youthful moments of discovery. Hmm, I don't think there's an age limit on those, to be honest. Heh, <laughs> you flirting with me? Maybe. We'd better, we'd, we'd better get back to our room, huh? Come on. Paris, day six. Happy birthday to you. I am literally so embarrassed right now. Black clap. Okay, Higgs and Troom students, quiet please. Chatter, 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 chatter. Quiet! Thank you, Mr. Fruk. Or, Yosef. Now, everyone, I know it's our last full day in, here in Paris. And... It's Tara's birthday, so 
I know you might all want to have a little party tonight in, in your rooms. Well, we're not going to ban that, but please make sure that you're being safe, and please keep the noise down, okay? Yay! You can buy snacks and drinks while we're out today, but... If I catch anyone with alcohol, there will be dire consequence con consequences, okay? Hmm. Darcy, how would you even get alcohol? You'll see, Jonasy. You'll see. He literally just said we're not allowed. You'll see. What's it actually for? No idea. in the act. So glad I can rely on you to take flattering photos of me. This is revenge for the, the nerd photo. Touché. Do you want to get go get some? Do you want to go eat somewhere quieter? Um, yeah, okay. Here, I'll share with you. Tara Jones plus 39 others. Casual party in my room for from 9 p.m. Room 417. Everyone's welcome, and you can wear PJs. Please bring snacks if you have any, especially if you have Pringles. Also, I have vodka. <laughs> yes, we'll be there. Can't wait. OMG, Darcy, how did you get vodka? <laughs> I have my ways. Yee, let's get it, get lit. We'll be there. That night. You coming? You go ahead. We'll meet you there. Okay. Shut. You sure you don't you don't mind me borrowing this? As long as you don't steal it like the other three you've borrowed. I actually quite liked that one. I didn't steal them. I... I just forgot to give them back. Excuse me. Those are my dimples. Oh, hi. What are you doing? Recharging. We could, um, stay here for a bit. Oh yeah? Why is that? Because we haven't kissed in, like, four days? Did you miss me? Well, it's not like you weren't here.
Charlie. More, please. What do you do? Hey. Come on. We said we'd go to Tara's uh, party, didn't we? Teasing you is so fun. I actually hate you. Nah, you like me. I really don't. Knock, knock, knock. Hey, boys. Woo! What's... What the hell? Why is your room massive? We got lucky? A balcony? Snap. It's literally just lemonade. Chug, chug, chug. Kiss, kiss. Open. Get out. I need to pee. Too bad. Use a lock. Leave. I thought you were going to the loo. Whisper, 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 whisper. Whisper, giggle, giggle, whisper. Ahem. Sorry to interrupt your very obvious flirting, but... It's alcohol time. What actually is it? Vodka. You just pour it into your lemonade. Is it gross? Yep. I'll try some. Are you sure? Glug, glug, glug. I just want to see what it tastes like. Enjoy. Have you ever, have you ever drunk alcohol before? My mom lets me have a beer sometimes, like at Christmas. Lucky, my parents have never let me try it. They're so strict about stuff like that. Well, your parents aren't here now. Sip. That is disgusting. <laughs> Literally, why would you why would anyone pay for that? I want to try. Sip. <laughs> it tastes like metal. Maybe it grows on you. That's what my mom says about red wine. Oh well. I don't need to be drunk right now. Same. A little while later. How do you get cold so easily? This is normal. I'm not a human heater like you. Hey. 
What's going on? Squabble? Squabble? Yeah, well, no homophobes at my birthday party. Yeah, leave. Hang on, look. I just want to talk to Nick and Charlie. Harry? Is his hair different? Yeah, less pointy. Huh. What do you want? For fuck's sake, calm down. Can we just talk? No. Close. Slap. Wait! I wanted to say sorry for all the shit I said uh, at the cinema. It wasn't cool. I know I said some homophobic shit. Honestly, my family's pretty homophobic. But I feel like I know better now and I won't say shit like that anymore. Char, we don't have to listen to this. What do you want from us? Forgiveness? Well done? You said all that homopho homophobic stuff to me, but it's okay because you're sorry? I'm glad you've realized the error of your ways, but it's not my job to give you a gold star. People like you made my life hell last year, and I shouldn't have to forgive anyone for any of it. You don't get to ambush me into forgiving you in front of everyone. One sorry doesn't make up for all the things you said. So congrats on your incredibly difficult realization that gay people actually do have feelings. And have a nice life. Shut. Cheer! I started to believe what they were saying. It made me re really hate myself. Last year when everything at school was shit. Touch. You okay? Yeah, saying all that really... F saying all that felt good. Please. Don't look at me like that. Like what? Like you're all about to say something stupidly romantic and cheesy. And what if I am? Nick. Nick, I will literally, literally die if you say one more cheesy thing. You're... Um, whisper, whisper, whisper. We're gonna play truth or dare if you want to join. Chatter, chatter, chatter. Spin. Tara. Oh. Uh oh. Truth or dare? Drunk. <laughs> dare. Nice. I dare you to remove a sock using only your teeth. Oh. Oh my god. Ew. That's so hard. Oh my god. 
Hmm. How tame. <laughs> Wop. Ah. Tell. <laughs> oh no. Truth or dare? Well, there is no way I'm doing dare. Doing a dare, so truth. Hmm. Have you kissed someone in this room? Yes. Oh, oh my god. Who was it? Ah, he's blushing so much. That wasn't the question. Ha <laughs> Spin. Charlie. <laughs> Obviously dare. James. I dare you to kiss James. What? I'm up for it. <laughs> you have to do it. That's the dare. Go on. It's just one little kiss. Come on, Charlie. He's a good kisser. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not gay, so it's just for a dare. Um, no, I don't want to. Oh. Um, okay, that's fine. I, I didn't care anyway, so, haha. <laughs> okay, but you have to do a truth instead. Fine. Who gave you the love bite? Hey, that's not cool. Yeah, that's too far. Um, you don't have to answer that. What was the question? Someone on the trip? Come on, that's not an answer. What's the point in truth or dare if we're allowed to keep secrets? That's too personal. Someone could get, get outed. Yeah. It's not like anyone here will tell anyone. Someone will. Just ask something else. Squabble. Squabble? Squabble? I know who it was. Silence. Nod. Squeeze. Me. We're dating. Oh my god, I knew it. Really? How long have you been going out? Don't say that. That's so rude. But we we were but we were saying that the other day. Shh. Nick, I didn't know you were gay. I'm bi actually, but yeah. Ah. You two are so cute together. Um, thanks? Really, how long have you been at going out? A few months. That's so crazy. I never w would have guessed Nick was gay. Did you turn him gay? Um, no, and he's bi. So what's... So that's what 
why you wouldn't kiss James. Do you want us to keep it a secret? We're okay with being out. We haven't been keeping it that secret anyway. Ahem. I hate to interrupt this very lovely moment, but I feel really ill. I knew it. Mr. Farouk! Knock, 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 knock. What? Sir, Darcy feels super ill. She feels like she's gonna be sick. I think she might have food poisoning or something. Why did I go into teaching? I'm going to pretend I believe you have food poisoning. Okay, just just sit here there and uh, take a deep breath. I'll find a bag just in case. Belay your... Blech. How about that? I want everyone out except Tara and Darcy. Everyone else, get back to your rooms now. Party's over, everyone. You coming back to our room? I was gonna stay here. Eld suggested we have a big sloop sleepover. Oh. I don't know. I'm kinda tired. And I'm large. <laughs> I need lots of bed space. We'll see you in the morning? Well, no having sex in our room. What? 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 Yeah, I'm gonna stop it right here for today. Uh, stay tuned for chapter four, out part six.